Today we're going to be going over how to operate a Skyjack SJ6826RT Rough Terrain Scissor Lift. One of the first things you're going to want to make sure of is in this manual compartment right here, this weatherproof compartment, you have your operator's manual, your ANSI's responsibilities manual, and your AEM manual, which those are always going to be located in the weatherproof compartment on the platform here. On the left hand side of the 6826, Underneath this cover here, by grabbing this latch, bringing it towards you, lifting up. On this side here, you're gonna have your hydraulic tank, which is filled with ATF, hydraulic filter, hydraulic manifold, and fuel tank. Now on the right-hand side of the 6826, Again, by grabbing all this latch, bringing it towards you, lift the hood. You're gonna have your engine compartment on this side and also your ground controls. Now to operate any functions down below here, this master disconnect all the way to the right. That's gonna be power on, key switch in the center position, e-stop out. Now in these skyjacks, you need to be sure that at your platform, you also have the e-stop out up top also. Now, to go ahead and start this machine from down below, choke, start. That's gonna fire it up for you. If you ever need to stop it right away for any reason, e-stop in, that's gonna shut her down. Now for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and leave the engine not running. And to operate any controls down below, this key switch all the way to the right, that's gonna be your function enable. And that off of this toggle switch here, you're able to lift and lower the machine from down below. This toggle switch here is <clears throat> gonna be for your fuel select. All the way to the left is gonna be gasoline. All the way to the right is gonna be propane. Key switch in the center position is gonna allow you to have power up at the platform. On these newer Skyjacks, you have Elevate Live now, which is a quick <clears throat> a QR code right here by pulling your phone out, popping the camera on, scan the link. That's gonna bring you to Elevate Live, which is gonna have your model, serial number, parts manual, quick reference manual, and startup menu. On top of many other things, you can go ahead and check that out with your, with your phone there. If for any reason this machine's stuck in the air, there's two ways to get down. By the ground controls right here, with the master disconnect on, e-stop out. This key switch here, all the way to the right, you got a battery backup. Just hit and hold your lower switch, and that's gonna go ahead and bring the scissor stack down without the engine running. The second way to get this machine down if it's stuck in the air, on the bottom, you have two cylinders on this 6826. On the bottom of each cylinder, you have these red down knobs. By pushing it in, turn it counterclockwise, that's your upper cylinder. You also have one on the lower. Again, by pushing them in and turning them counterclockwise. <clears throat> also, if you cannot reach this upper cylinder here, there is a rod attached to the side of this machine. That'll go ahead and use as an extension to push and turn that knob in. Once both of those are pushed in and turned counterclockwise, come over to the left hand side of this machine. By grabbing hold of this red handle here, pulling it out, that's going to bring the machine down manually. For any more details, go ahead and check the operator's manual. Now that we're at the platforms, we're going to go over the upper controls here. With this E stop out, you're going to go ahead and start the machine by this is your choke when needed. Start off this toggle switch here. For the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and shut it off. But again, as I was explaining, e-stop out, machine running. This toggle switch over here to your right is going to be your engine RPM. All the way to the right is going to be high engine. All the way to the left is going to be low engine. This toggle switch right next to that is going to be travel all the way to the right, lift all the way to the left, and then the toggle switch that's on top is going to be your low and high travel speed. Now, to operate any of these functions off this joystick, 
With this toggle switch all the way to the right, that's going to be in travel mode. You're going to go ahead and click on this dead man switch. Forward's going to be forward travel. Reverse is going to be bringing it back towards you. It's going to back you up there. You're going to steer off this top rocker. Again, with dead man switch held, right and left steer. To lift this machine, toggle switch all the way to the left. You're going to lift by throwing the joystick forward. And you're going to bring it down by pulling it back towards you. Now, if you need to use the outriggers at all, you need to leave this switch on lift. It's got its own separate pad for the outrigger controls here. To auto level, you're going to go ahead and hit your function enable and go ahead and drop all four outriggers off that switch there. Now, you're also able to manually drop and lift any of the four outriggers by, again, holding your function enable and manually lifting and lowering each outrigger as need be. For any more information on that, go ahead and check your operator's manual. over how to operate a Skyjack 6826 rough train scissor. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thank you.